All right, so here's a little video to go over um, polynomial long division. All right, so here's a little video. Sorry, it's kind of wonky, but I don't have my normal setup here at the school. So this is for uh, long division so that you guys can see, because we did it with synthetic in class. So you always put your divisor outside and your dividend on the inside, x to the fifth. Notice I don't have an x to the fourth term, so I'm gonna put a plus zero x to the fourth to hold its spot plus 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x plus 6. Okay, so now I'm going to start the polynomial long division. You always start with the first term, okay? So you look at the divisor. It's just an x. What do you need to multiply by x to get x to the fifth? Well, I need x to the fourth because x to the fourth times x will give me an x to the fifth, and that's what I want. But then I have to distribute it times the minus one as well. X to the fourth times negative one is a negative X to the fourth. And then we do a sign change. So this becomes negative, this becomes positive, because we have to subtract. Those cancel, zero X to the fourth plus a one X to the fourth is just an X to the fourth. And then we bring down the next term and do it all over again. Now this time I need to get an X to the fourth. So what do I multiply by X to get X to the fourth? Well, I need an x to the third. And then we have to distribute it. x to the, to the third times x is x to the fourth. x to the third times negative one is a negative x to the third. And then we have to do the sign change because we gotta subtract. Those first terms will always cancel or they should always cancel. And three x to the third plus one x to the third is four x to the third. Bring down the next term and do it again. Next one, okay, this time we need to get uh, 4x cubed. So what do I multiply by x to get 4x cubed? I need a 4x squared. Sorry, it's lunchtime and people keep knocking on my door. So anyways, all right. Okay, so next we have to just do it again. Okay, so now I need to get a 4x cubed. Let me see if I can focus on this a little bit better. There it goes, okay. Now I need to get a 4x cubed. So what do I multiply by x to get 4x cubed? Well, that was a 4x squared, which I already got. Now distributing 4x squared times x gives me the 4x cubed. 4x squared times negative 1 is a negative 4x squared. We've got to do the sign change. Got to subtract. Boom, shakalaka. Oh, okay, negative 4x squared plus uh, 4x squared. Hey, that's 0. Okay. So then we just gotta bring down the 2x, the positive 2x. And I need two terms, and zero doesn't count because it's zero, so I'm gonna bring down the six, plus six. And now I need to get a 2x. So what do I multiply by x to get 2x? Well, I just need a positive two. Two times x is a 2x. Two times negative one is a negative two. Do the sign change. Boom, shakalaka, those cancel out. Six plus two is eight. There's my remainder of eight, the same remainder I got using synthetic division today. All right, so my final answer then is all of that. So x to the fourth plus x to the third plus four x squared plus two, but, and then the remainder is positive, so plus eight, all over the divisor, which is an x minus one, just like we did with synthetic division. Now synthetic division is shorter and it's, um, it's quicker, so that to students that means it's easier if it's shorter. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But synthetic division is the one we're going to be using more often from here on out. But this works too. So whatever you guys prefer, there you go.